Ivan De Carlo, a luminary in the entertainment industry, continues to endure as an emblem of timeless talent. Her remarkable career spanned across film and television, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Perhaps it's her ability to seamlessly transition between various genres, effortlessly portraying characters that resonate with audiences, that solidifies her as a lasting figure in the industry. Many hold cherished memories associated with this iconic figure, whether it's through her captivating performances or the impact she had on the trajectory of Hollywood. Her enduring qualities, including her charisma, versatility, and dedication to her craft, have positioned her as a revered symbol in the annals of entertainment. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Yvonne De Carlo, celebrated for her captivating performances, left an enduring mark on both Hollywood's Walk of Fame and the hearts of fellow luminaries. Her presence, gracing two stars, one for her prowess in motion pictures and the other for her contributions to television stands as a testament to her lasting impact on the industry. Among those touched by her talent was the illustrious Italian actress Sofia Loren, who openly declared her admiration for De Carlo. Lauren, in a touching homage, revealed how she cherished childhood dreams of emulating the grace and artistry embodied by Yvonne Di Carlo. One iconic moment that captured the essence of their mutual admiration was a photograph taken at the 1954 Berlin Film Festival. Di Carlo and Lauren, side by side, exuded elegance, joined by another luminary, Gina Lollabrigida. This snapshot immortalized the shared reverence and camaraderie among these cinematic forces. While her on-screen performances were her public legacy, Yvonne De Carlo revealed glimpses of her private life in her 1987 autobiography, offering an intimate portrait beyond the glamour of Hollywood. In this personal account, she candidly shared aspects of her life, including relationships that added depth to her narrative, a fascinating exploration beyond the silver screen. Her journey remains an inspiration, a tapestry woven with talent, admiration, and a legacy that transcends generations. Yvonne De Carlo's story continues to captivate, leaving an indelible mark on the history of entertainment. Yvonne De Carlo, famously known before her marriage as Hollywood Snow. One bachelor girl had a life marked by unexpected turns. A pivotal moment arose when she took on the role of Lily Munster on The Munsters in 1964. Her motive was to support her husband, Bob Morgan, who faced severe medical bills after a harrowing accident during the filming of How the West Was Won in 1962. Little did she foresee the show's massive success. While grateful for the spotlight it brought, DiCarlo found it somewhat overshadowed with her broader career. Prior to her ascent in Hollywood, she faced immigration troubles in 1941, getting deported from the U.S. despite working as a dancer for showman Nils Granlund. His support eventually paved her way back into the country, solidifying her future in the industry. These unforeseen twists encapsulate the intriguing life of a woman whose journey navigated through hurdles and unexpected triumphs, leaving a lasting legacy in entertainment. Yvonne De Carlo, known for her diverse life, found solace in unexpected places. While celebrated for her acting, her childhood had a different rhythm. Trained in opera and a former chorister in Canada, her roots were steeped in musical notes before she embraced the spotlight. However, her journey took intriguing turns even in her later years. She spent her final days at the Motion Picture and Television Hospital, a place that marked the closing chapter of a life that traversed fame and personal challenges. Amidst her varied experiences, she maintained a lasting friendship with Butch Patrick, an enduring connection that extended beyond their time together on the Munsters. These glimpses into her personal life add layers to the legacy she left behind, revealing a woman of depth and resilience far beyond her on-screen persona. Yvonne De Carlo, recognized for her diverse talents, found admiration from unexpected quarters. A notable figure among her admirers was Eva Peron, the esteemed former First Lady of Argentina. In De Carlo's autobiography, she recounted their encounter and Peron's appreciation for her work, singling out Buccaneer's Girl as a favorite among her movies. An intriguing proposition emerged during this interaction, a desire expressed by Peron for De Carlo to portray her in a biopic, marking a testament to the actress' allure and range. Before parting ways, Peron gifted De Carlo a personalized copy of her autobiography, a token of appreciation for their meeting. 
This unique connection underscored the far-reaching appeal and recognition that Ivan de Carlo garnered, transcending borders and cultures, leaving an enduring imprint on a global scale. Ivan de Carlo, the actress known for her varied career, made a pivotal choice when she adopted her stage name. Mixing her middle name with her mother's maiden name, de Carlo crafted an identity distinct from the typical girl next door look Hollywood often favored. This decision reflected her desire to stand out in an industry that prized a particular image. Interestingly, later in her career, she embarked on tours with Virginia Mayo, showcasing a different side as they sang and danced together. However, amidst her diverse endeavors, when de Carlo auditioned for the role of Lily Munster, she grappled with conflicting emotions. Financial need ultimately led her to accept the part, marking a significant turn in her life. These decisive moments paint a picture of an actress who navigated her career with deliberate choices and adaptations, leaving an enduring legacy in entertainment. Yvonne de Carlo, known for her diverse talents, formed a lasting bond with Cecil B. Demo, the acclaimed director behind the Ten Commandments. Their connection began when she won second place in the Miss Venice Beach Contest of 1940, catching the eye of Sir Cedric Hardwick, a future co-star. This contest led to her first job as a nightclub dancer and propelled her towards a successful movie career. Her friendship with Demo blossomed during their work together, with him admiring her talent and beauty. Although a role in The Buccaneer had to be recast due to her pregnancy, their bond endured. Their mutual respect echoed in interviews and autobiographies, highlighting a remarkable connection between a budding actress and an esteemed director, shaping each other's careers in profound ways. During her time on The Monsters, Yvonne de Carlo, known for her role as Lily Munster, showcased a unique aspect of her life beyond the silver screen. It's fascinating that during the show's run, she cruised around in a sleek Jaguar sedan adorned with eerie decorations that mirrored the show's quirky charm. Yet, despite the allure of her customized ride, it wasn't all smooth driving. Enthusiastic fans in their fervor inadvertently turned her car into a target for vandalism, prompting her to bid farewell to this ghoulishly styled set of wheels. Interestingly, while portraying Lily Munster's father figure, Al Lewis, her on-screen senior, was in fact a year younger than her in real life, a delightful twist to the perception created by their roles. These intriguing, lesser-known tidbits not only add depth to her on-screen persona, but also hint at the vibrant off-screen experiences she navigated. The interplay between her public image and these behind-the-scenes anecdotes unveils the complexity of her journey as an actress, offering a richer tapestry of her life and career. All these elements, known and unknown, craft an intriguing narrative around this iconic figure of the entertainment world. 